Ladies and gentlemen, our first guest is one of the true heroes of this year's Super Bowl, leading the San Francisco 49ers to a commanding victory over the San Diego Chargers. Do us a favor, please say hello to the NFL MVP, Steve Young. Yes, sir. -y. How you doing? Very well, very well. Congratulations on, uh, well, man, it's not over yet, but congratulations on a great career. And I know, because I heard you say that for you, this was the crowning moment, the achievement, the pinnacle of your career so well, far. Everyone talks about the Super Bowl that yeah. way. You know, if you get to the Super Bowl and win that game, yes, sir. in a way you've made a mark for yourself and the whole team. Now you're going to get babes. <laughs> where, does that, where does that line start? It's just a, I, mean, you, oh, I know, yeah. but I was just wondering where, where you does the sign line up. Start? Where do I sign yeah. up? Yeah. Did you... Uh, did you or tell us a little bit about the game? Give us a feel for the game because it looked just unbelievably easy for you guys. You guys looked like a machine, like a juggernaut. Yeah, we Rolling really over didn't the make charger. many mistakes. The only mistake I made was after the game. You know, the celebrations going on, and there's a lot of dignitaries running the locker room trying to get a piece of the action, get on sure. TV and so forth. And I'm getting hustled in, and the players are kind of being surrounded. And out of my corner of my eye, I see Jesse Jackson. Right. And I go running up, and he says, "Steve." And I turn, and I had a little case of dyslexia, and I yell out. Uh, yo, Reggie! And, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, I panic, I panic, yeah. you know? I mean, it's just like the name association, yeah. the whole thing, I panic. So, uh, that was like my big mistake. What, what, did, what did Jesse have to say? Uh, oh, it's Jesse, yeah. Um, no, he was just, he was just, you know, congratulating everybody, yeah. trying to pump everyone up. You know, that's his thing. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? So. <laughs> There was a, uh, a time in the season, and they were talking about this uh, during the game, and, and this is hard to imagine, that you guys were beaten by, was it the, uh, the Eagles, something like 40 right. to 8? Yeah, yeah, come on, what was yeah. that? Philadelphia fans, yeah. All right. What was uh, the deal on that? Did you just know. not get off the bus? We is had some trouble there, but that was, a, that was one of my favorite games because, uh, you know, George Seifert, who's our coach, uh, I screamed he, at him. He's kind of slick, this guy. He's real slick. Oh, he's a yeah. little slick. And I, uh, I had to keep him in uh, check. You know, every once in a while, he's going to, coaches run amok. And you have to be there to kind of keep him in, te in check. And so I kind of uh, screamed at him. And afterwards, he apologized. He apologized to you? Yeah. So I thought that, you know, that's a great thing. Yeah. You know? That, that means you got a lot of power if you can get <laughs> yes, the coach sir. to apologize. Yeah. This for is the kind of power out. you got right there. No, that's no, no, the no. lesson you learned right there. <laughs> uh, you know, let's, let's go back to you. I can remember when you uh, signed in, in a, for a team in the USFL. It was the Los Angeles Express. Yeah. And then it was something like you were getting $40 million to right. play. And, yeah. and you were like 17 or something. You hadn't even finished high school. I don't right. know what the story right. was. Right. Right. And you went to the Los Angeles Express. What, whatever happened to the team, and did, did you get the dough? Well, no, nah, you know, it's like Hollywood. Never is, like, when, when you're reading the paper, you believe 10% of it. So if you take 10% of 40, it's about four. Uh -huh. You know, that's how, that's how you work <laughs> it out when you read the paper, so you know how much to believe. And, uh, but I got that much, and that was great. That's, you know, four more than I had. So. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now, when you, was, was that a, a low point in your career when that franchise came apart? Well, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, we were all 22, living on the beach in Manhattan Beach, California, Los Angeles, living in L.A., having a great time. So it wasn't a big problem. I mean, I was glad to get to the NFL, but uh, uh, it was nice to have enough fans in the crowd so that when you're in the huddle, you didn't have to whisper so the other <laughs> team wouldn't hear you, you know, so... <laughs> You, you're like, you wanted to huddle about farther away so the, you know, because the defense yeah. could hear the play because there was no one in the stands. Uh, but now, now you now are you're big, at now the other big. end right. of, of that football Now you got to scream in the huddle. You, you right. went to uh, Disney World, is that what it was? Yeah, uh, Jerry Rice and I. What are you doing in Disney World? What happened? Well, down it was part there? of the, you know, you won the well, game. Yeah, I know. Uh, it was great. You know, I'm not, nothing happened like a Nancy Kerrigan thing. Nothing yeah. big time. But uh, <laughs> the, only pro the only problem was is that they were hustling us around to get in PR shots. And all the kids are lined up for the teacups, and they want us to get in the teacups. And so we're getting in the teacups. They introduce us, and the kids boo us because we cut in. <laughs> the kids don't care who it is. They want their tea. You know, I've been waiting five hours for the teacup. They don't care who's coming in. And so uh, we got in the teacups. Jerry and I trying to we're and we're waving the kids, and they're like, you know, the hell with you, buddy. Get, the, get out of the teacups, tea tea Mr. Big Shot. Yeah. You know, you know what we're going to do now. I'm very excited about this. We did yeah. this about a year ago with uh, Troy Aikman. Yeah. Troy Aikman, a great athlete and a fine quarterback, Very did not much so. have much luck with what we're going to do here I know, tonight. I'm excited to try to up we're, You and I are going to go out onto Broadway, and you're going to fire footballs into cabs right, as they go by. To, and I'm not, <laughs> you got it. All right, here we go. Hey. How do you do, boys? Yeah, you know, oh, 
Look, it's Steve Young. Here we go. All right. Is your arm all right? Yeah, you're you're left-handed, right huh? Yeah, I'm left-handed, so you can stand maybe on my right. Yeah. All right. This is like shooting skeet. I'll call for the cams. Are you ready? Are you ready? Where do I? Okay. All right. Let's try one. Here we go. Bring in the cab. There he is. Go ahead. Yes. No. Oh! I'm going for a knockout blow. Try it again. Here we go. Oh, this is a pretty good toss. There we go. There. No. A little high. A little high. A little high. We have two more cabs. Okay, here we go. All right. Here we go. You know, you could go for the trunk. Oh! Last one. You're down to your last cab. Here we go. Oh! All right. Let's now let's just what, let's try it. Just passenger cars. Are we done with the cab? I'm sorry, Thanks, Steve. Dan. Not too good. Have a wonderful off season. Thank you very much. We'll be right back, folks. Steve Young here. Thank you very much, guys.